Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tiny tutorial, I'll show you how to add a page section in Squarespace. Page sections can either be templates or you can start with a blank one. You can also reorder them. And then I'll show you a quick walkthrough of the format, background, and color options for your page section. I'd also like to mention this is specifically for individual pages. You cannot add page sections to blog posts or product pages at the time of recording this video. So let's say you have a page you want to add a section to, select edit. And as soon as you're in edit mode, you'll see when you hover over any section on your site that already exists, add section pops up. Go ahead and click on that button. Now here you can grab any of these pre-made templates or start with a blank one. Know that no matter what template you select, they are all completely editable. So if you change your mind, don't worry about it. Every section can do the exact same thing another section can. So we'll just click on this pre-made section here so we can take a look at our other options. Once we've selected this, if we decide we want to change the order, we can use these icons right here to move that section lower or higher and relative to other sections available on that particular page. Now let's talk about the formatting options. Clicking this icon right here to edit the section, we can change the height, making it small, medium, or large. You can also click these three dots right here and manually adjust this to the size that you want that section to be. For your content width, we also have the option for small, medium, or large. And again, these three dots on the side can help you decide exactly the size you want that width to be. From there, we have content alignment, the top, the middle, or the bottom, far left, center, or far right. Our next tab here is for the background. You can either delete this image, upload a new one, or change the focal point of the image so that the background is centered in a different spot on that particular image. Note this also will affect how it is viewed on mobile. If we select mobile preview, you'll see the center of that image is in the center of our mobile preview banner. Let's go back to desktop here because we've got one more option to review. Clicking this edit section icon, our other option for background is video. You can link to a Vimeo or YouTube background if you'd like, and then you've got other settings here to play around with, so check those out. However, if you've got image, make sure you set that focal point to exactly where you want it to be. From there, we also have the colors tab. This is where you can select the color theme that you'd like for this image. This will adjust the text, buttons, and all of the other content on that particular section to match the color theme that you've set in your site styles menu. So let's review this one last time. To add a section, just select the add section icon anywhere that it pops up. Grab any pre-made section that you'd like to work with. And from there, you can edit the content of this section you can use these arrows to reorder it on your site in relation to other pages. And by selecting this icon right here to edit the section, you can change the height, the width, the alignment of that particular section content, the background by adding an image or a video, and you can adjust the color theme. Once you've made the section exactly the way you want it to be and in exactly the right order, go ahead and select save and you'll be good to go. For more tiny tutorials like this one, visit InsideTheSquare.co.